Maximus, Maximus, Regimus Maximus again. Today we are going to do a review of Ken Balls Bruticus. Da -da -da -da. All right, as you can see, he comes in this huge box. I actually like the box, it's pretty damn big. But let me turn it around. Well, let's check out the side first. The side you got like pictures of the various Transformers like Blast Off, Brawl, Carol Swindle, I forget his name. I forget his name. But there is Bruticus. Oh, I can't wait. This is actually the knockoff of the Warbatron. Bruticus, so. Uh, Originally, it's their design, but hey. I'm happy with this big ass version. Alright, here we go. Getting the figures out. They all come wrapped real nicely. Oh, God. Well, it feels like it might be a big chunk, so let me go ahead and grab that out. As you can see, they come in this big old plastic uh, insert. Pretty big. I guess they just size probably of the masterpiece Transformers. So, lay this down for a minute. You got these other two that came wrapped up. So, I guess you have the instructions and the weapons right here. So, Hey, let me get everything unwrapped, and we'll continue this. Don't look bad, though. Can't wait. Okay, here we are. Get all the guys. They're all standing up, already transforming into robot mode. So... I mean, I really like Swindle. I mean, I think he's a, probably my favorite out of all of them. I mean, he's got a real good look to him. And... I don't know. Um, I don't know if he... <laughs> I don't know, I think he's got more of an autism like look more so than anything. So I don't know. Um overall, no bad looking set, I guess. I mean But hey let's check them out. One small note, Swindle comes in a package like this, but I look on the instructions and you can see that his front grill is not showing. So what I had to do was we had to flip this back to reveal that's how he's supposed to be. Not with this grill in front. So, that's just something quick. So, I just thought you should know. And on, and on with the transformation. Alrighty. We 
it has them all in vehicle mode. Here's Vortex. He looks pretty damn awesome. I say pretty damn awesome a lot. But he does look great. And you got Swindle. He does a real good job with him. I mean, I like the detail on him. I mean, this is the Warbitron Machine Boy design. You got Blast Off. Braum. It's a good job. His guns kind of look like it's kind of don't want to stay up all the time. Vortex, I mean, they did a pretty good job with him. I mean, I think they it's got a real good. I don't think it feels a lot of people say it feels some of them feel cheap. I, I don't think they feel cheap. I like them. And you got Onslaught, the mighty Onslaught. I mean, all in all, I think it's a pretty decent set. I mean, I remember when a lot of these third-party companies were coming out with these, and I ain't gonna lie, I was like, no, they shouldn't be doing that, yada, yada, yada. I mean, but or when they make a transformer, they make a transformer. It's not no remolds, repaints. I mean, I respect that. I mean, in all reality, I mean, this is the type of thing that they should have did with the combiner wars. The combiner wars. I mean, I did buy a few figures from that, but in all reality, I mean. They could have did a whole lot better with that. And it's a shame that you get like a third party company that comes in and does such an amazing job doing some of these figures. I mean, pretty much giving the customers what they want. It would really be nothing for Hasbro to actually go in and do something this scale. And I mean, it would sell. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. A lot of people buy these sets all the time. So, I just something they should think about. And I've been collecting Transformers since I was a kid. So, let's go ahead and turn him into Bruticus. Ultimately, and that's what we all want to see anyway. All right. Here we have him combined into Bruticus. Everything's together for the most part. It took me a while to put him all together. Well, to do this whole daggone thing, but hell, I did it. All in all, not a bad figure. A closer look at him. I mean, I don't think he's too poseable. You can pose him a little bit, but still, it's not a bad figure. Let's put him against some of the other ones I have so you can get a scale ratio. Alright, as you can see, here he is with our knockoff of the Masterpiece Hot Rodimus. You can see how small he is. And Prior to this, here he is, right beside the Feral King Jimbao. So, not bad. They're made by the same company. Bruticus is a little bit bigger, so. And here he is next to Metroplex. Metroplex is obviously bigger. This picture makes him look way bigger, but he's just a little bit more bigger than he is. So, either or, there's a size comparison. So, 
Jim Val, Bruticus. One of the next things I'm going to do is, even though Metroplex has been up for a couple of years, is I want to, um, we're going to do the whole Toy Hanks sticker set with him. So, this is one of our next things we're going to do. The Toy Hanks company has a bunch of different stickers for different, um, Transformers, G.I. Joe figures, and a couple other figures, so you might want to check them out. But for right now, this is Regimus Maximus signing off on our Bruticus review. Jim Bow. See you later. See you later.